Hello guys, my name is Jean Sebastien Charles, and today we're using the asset name Atavis MMO Creator. And what we're gonna do today, we're gonna create some claims, claims object, and some claim deeds. Uh, for today, I'm gonna use an asset called Medieval Level Kit. As always, uh, the link will be provided in the description video. Um, so that's a $15 asset and it looks really nice and it's really easy to learn from it or create claims. So what we want to do first, uh, what we will do is let's go create our prefab. So if you go down your folders, uh, find the medieval or other asset you want to use. I'm going to use a full house for this demo. I'm going to use house one, just put it in my world to know what it looks like. And as always, let's put it at zero, zero, zero. Okay. Uh, what I want to do first, I'll take off the doors. So, oh, well, the doors are open on that one, so that's really good. Um, what I'll usually do, I'm going to put it in my prefab folder under the resource folder. So if you go down resource content and I have already done a prefab claims object houses and I'll bring that one in. So it's gonna be my house zero one. I can now delete that object from the world. Next we'll open our Atavis online editor and we'll create an item. So actually we'll create two items. So the first is gonna be or house one claim object. You can type the name as you want. We want to put that as a consumable, and we can select an icon. So I'll have a small picture, but this one should do. Uh, let's say it's common, is sellable. Uh, if you want people to be able to sell their houses, how much it costs to buy from a merchant. Uh, the currency is gold. I have only one currency right now in my game and we'll add an effect to that item. So let's click here, and we're gonna say this is a, cl a claim object. Then what you wanna do is take this house prefab and just drag it here in the game object and hit save. Next, what we are gonna create is a claim deed. So let's call that claim deed. I think I have an icon for that. Uh, these icon ones are bought from a NeoJack website, so that's a pack. If you have the developer edition, you can have those icon, or else you can buy them on the asset store. We want to make it a consumable, as always. Let's say it costs ten dollars, at ten gold, and we want to add a new effect to it. And this time, we want to create a cream claim object. It's going to ask you the for the size. This is by unity meter size, so let's say this claim is going to be at 30 claim size, and we'll put in the name 30 size so we know. So you could have multiple create claims uh, size, so they're always a square, so it's going to be 30 by 30 by 30, and if you put 60, it's going to be 60 by 60 by 60. So let's hit save data, and now I'm going to close this. I'll restart the server and I'll see you back in a couple of minutes. Okay guys, my server has just restarted. Uh, what we want to do just before we get into the world, I'm going to show you a small thing. If you go into item the currency and over here you have the currency configuration. I'll be, we have my gold here. I only have one currency. You can create more as you could create uh, let's say uh, game star and this would be collected by players doing quests and then they could buy uh, some claims and I'll show you how you could set that up also at the same time. So I'll start the game. And I'll log in into a, a small scene I made in another tutorial. I'll take that one character. Okay. So, first thing we want to do is, let's say we don't want players to be able to build like around this part because this is a game object. So 
So I could always create a claim and say it's going to be protected and just say like oh don't click anything for sell nothing and let's place it here size like I told you going to be 30 by 30 by 30 so now nobody can put any claims over here that just for protection on your servers so like you can see it says uh, protected claim is not for sale another way you want to might want to do that if you don't want player to be able to put claims all over the world instead of giving them the claims deeds we could always create a new claim here now let's put a small one like 20 and say for sale and the cost let's say 10 and you remember the ID of goal was 3 for me but you could always use also um, like game star stuff like that they had to collect two quests and then if they have enough they could buy that claim so I'm gonna put that claim here so I could always buy it as I have more than 10 goals on my character so I'll just buy and here we have the claim that I know I am not the owner of or the other way we could always give myself the objects so 33 and 34 so you can see I have a game object here and I have my claim claim test 30 so if I run a little bit further in the world and I click here as you can see I have a new claim has been created and now we could click on this this is our house or prefab we made so click oh, sorry, I need to do place item and then you can click another one you can move around the claim you can see it snaps and also if I roll the scroll mouse it's gonna rotate rotate sorry so I could put my house like over here and step it on and I can get into my house everything looks fine and if you so sorry for the cut of the video as you can see my house okay it's back okay sorry about that uh, I don't know why but like I couldn't move the house I had to log off and log in back so now I can move my house once again so I'm gonna put it here and I'll show you select object click and move and here I can move it again so I don't know it was a small glitch so once again as you move it you can rotate it with the scroll mouse and actually it goes up and down on this mode if you want to put it down or up now uh, let's say I'm gonna put it almost flat to the floor like this and all, as always when you select an object you have multiple you can move it rotate or move vertically so that's our good options and once again if you want to if you delete the claim everything in the claim is going to be deleted and you'll lose your prefabs and everything for your character so always do like select object and cover to item it's going to get back in your ba bag then you can delete the claim you can delete the claim afterward and you can put your claim somewhere else so that was a quick tutorial i hope it helps once again my name is jean Saint Charles. if you have any questions or comments please leave them below in the comment section and i'll see you soon bye bye